हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स जय स्वामी नारायण सो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर स्टडिंग अवर चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स लाइफ प्रोसेसिस एंड टुडे वी विल गोइंग टू स्टडी अवर पार्ट टू ऑफ चैप्टर सिक्स सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन अवर लास्ट पार्ट दैट इज अवर चैप्टर इंट्रोडक्शन एंड वी हैव स्टार्टेड द न्यूट्रिशन अवर सिक्स पॉइंट टू फ्रॉम द टेक्सट बुक इज न्यूट्रिशन एंड देन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट ऑटोट्रॉपिक न्यूट्रिशन नाउ टूडे ऑटोट्रॉपिक न्यूट्रिशन इज कंटिन्यूड ओके सो नाउ ऑब्जर्व अ क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ अ लीप अंडर द माइक्रोस्कोप ओके देन वी विल नोटिस दैट some cells contain green dots okay as we observe the cross section it means here you can see this uh, this diagram 6.1 figure you can see and uh, uh, you can also find it in your textbook so cross section means cutting cutting of horizontally okay so observe a cross section of leaf under microscope and we will notice green dots so what are the green dots so this green dots are cell organelles called chloroplast okay as we know cell organelles uh, what are they cell organelles are present in particular cell okay every cell have their cell organelles and chloroplast is one of them in plant cell particularly in plant cell chloroplast uh, we can see chloroplast in only plant cell and green some green bacteria or some green organism also so the color of plant is green why the color of plant is green okay so the answer is due to chloroplast and chloroplast contain chlorophyll so that's why the green plants plants color is green why because the chlorophyll activity so this is the another picture this green dots are chloroplast this is the picture under microscope of the leaf cross section so you can see here so this is autotrophic nutrition in plants okay so plant uh, how plant uh, observe uh, obtain their nutrition by photosynthesis we have already discussed in our last video okay so this is of autotrophic nutrition now how the plant obtains carbon dioxide as we know plant inhales the carbon dioxide but how because of stomata there is stomata we can see figure 6.3 this is the figure 6.3 this is stomata of particular plant or leaf okay so what is stomata so which are tiny pores present on the surface of leaves we can see the stomata on leaves surface of particular leaf okay so this is tiny pores and massive amount of gaseous exchange it means carbon dioxide and oxygen this is called as exchange exchanging of gas inhaling of carbon dioxide and outhaling outhaling the oxygen okay as we know tree trees are giving us oxygen and they take carbon dioxide so like that this is the process occurs by stomata stomata are tiny pores and gaseous exchange occurs through this tiny pores okay so massive amount of gaseous massive amount means a large amount of gaseous exchange takes place in the leaf through this pores okay for the purpose of photosynthesis so we can say this tiny pores are very useful for the photosynthesis now exchange of gases occurs across the surface of stems also roots also and leaves as well now uh, the tiny pores are present not only on leaves but the surface of stem stem also okay stem is a part of plant root is a part of plant so exchange of gases occurs also in this part of these plants okay so keep in mind these things now large amount of water can also be lost through this stomata okay uh, this is not necessary that uh, the stomata always uh, inhales something or gaseous 
बट लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर इट विल लॉस्ट लॉस्ट मीन्स टू रिमूव टू रिलीज ओके सो वाटर इज रिलीज बाय दिस स्टोमेटा दिस टाइनी पोस्ट टाइनी मीन्स लिटल टू मच लिटल टाइनी इट इज कॉल्ड एज टाइनी नाउ प्लांट क्लोजिस दिस पोर्स वेन इट डज नॉट नीड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड ओके डज नॉट नीड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड मतलब जब उसको जरूरत होगी तब वो ओपन होगा जब जरूरत नहीं होगी तब वो क्लोज होगा सो प्लांट क्लोजिस द पोर्स वेन इट डज नॉट नीड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एनी मोर एंड ओपनिंग एंड क्लोजिंग ऑफ द पोर इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ गार्ड सेल्स दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस गार्ड सेल्स दिस इज द फंक्शन ऑफ गार्ड सेल्स गार्ड मीन्स यू कैन से द एग्जाम्पल यू कैन सी द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अवर वॉचमैन अवर गार्ड ओके लाइक दैट गार्ड सेल्स आर द फंक्शनिंग इन ओपनिंग एंड क्लोजिंग ऑफ दिस पोर नाउ गार्ड सेल्स स्वेल वेन वॉटर फ्लोस इन टू देम नाउ एज वॉटर फ्लोस इन टू देम देम मीन्स इन पोर्स सो गार्ड सेल्स विल स्वेल स्वेल मीन्स टू टू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ओके एंड कोजिंग द स्टोमेटल पोर टू ओपन इट विल रिलीज ओके लाइक दैट लार्ज साइज it become large size swell meaning it it become large size and similarly the pores closes when the guard cells shrink shrink means to sort down sort down okay so this is called as shrink so this is the functioning of guard cells you can see the figure 6.3 particularly a figure is open pore here we can see stomatal pore this is open and uh, this is the surface of leaf now these are the guard cells we can say these are green dots particularly guard cells are there and this is the figure of close close stomatal pore we can see here close and this is open okay like that keep in mind now plant also need other raw materials for building their body okay uh, photosynthesis is necessary but there are some another processes which require by the plant water for example used in photosynthesis is taken up from the soil okay soil also useful because water is we we spread water in soil also okay so the water used by photosynthesis is taken from the soil so this is the function of soil and by the roots soil by the roots okay the roots are plant a uh, part of this plant now terrestrial plants it means वैसे plant के जो जमीन ऊपर होते हैं terrestrial means हमारे जमीन ऊपर जो plant देखने को मिलते हैं वो okay so this is called as terrestrial plants and another uh, term is aquatic plants aquatic plant can be seen in watery bodies water bodies particularly now other materials also like nitrogen phosphorus iron and magnesium are taken up from the soil okay so nitrogen phosphorus iron and magnesium also required for the plant and taken up from the soil okay soil also contain this elements these are necessary nitrogen is an essential element used in the synthesis of proteins this is the role of nitrogen in plant system so for the synthesis of proteins plant require nitrogen and other compound also made up of nitrogen now nitrogen is present in two forms two different forms of nitrogen first form is inorganic now what is inorganic nitrogen form is nitrate or nitrite nitrate or nitrite are the form of inorganic nitrogen and organic there is another term organic compound is which have been prepared by the bacteria from atmospheric nitrogen so uh, we as we know nitrogen is present in atmosphere in large amount okay so bacteria bacteria are the bacteria are microorganism okay so bacteria take taking this atmosphere nitrogen and give it to plant particular plant so organic compounds like that so uh, this is the role of bacteria in uh, in uh, nitrogen from the atmosphere okay so this is important now here 
we have finished our autotrophic nutrition i have used one term for the autotrophic uh, nutrition is atmanirbhar okay autotrophic means they make their own food that's why i am calling atmanirbhar now heterotrophic nutrition so what is heterotrophic nutrition the form of nutrition differs depending on the type and availability of the food material how obtained by the organism for example whether the food source is stationary for example grass or mobile for example deer now heterotrophic nutrition means certain organisms depending on another organisms for their energy requirements okay food requirements so this is called as heterotrophic nutrition now this is depend upon the type there are different types of heterotrophic nutrition depend on type and availability of food and how obtained also so the food source is can be stationary stationary means kai ek jagah par hi hoga such as grass okay so grass can cannot move and mobile mobile means jo hil sakta hai okay mobile can move from one side to another side such as deer okay so deer is a animal so animal is also a food for another animals okay so we we will discuss it later also so this is the type of food stationary and mobile so keep in mind two types of food source stationary and mobile okay mobile means it can move from one side to another side now how the food is access and what is the nutritive apparatus used by a cow and lion this is another example for cow so cow is a vegetarian animal and lion is a non vegetarian animal it means a uh, cow will eat grass but lion will eat deer okay so like that carnivorous and omnivorous okay herbivorous and carnivorous is the examples is the correct word for this uh, phenomenon range of strategies by which the food is taken in and used this is also depending upon these two so strategies the range of strategies by which the food is taken okay uh, like some organism break down the food material outside the body okay there are some organism which they directly does not use directly food because food should be in small 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 segments okay in small broken down broken down condition so it can easily digestible now some organism break down the food material outside the body this is important term is outside the body and some organism other organisms uh, take whole material and break it down inside inside their body so outside and inside the example of outside the body are fungi like bread molds yeast and mushrooms so these are the examples okay so bread molds is fungi yeast also fungi and mushroom also fungi so uh, what will they do they break down the food material outside their body and then the small small stuffs will absorbed by that organism and other animals like us other organism like us humans also take the whole material and break it down inside the body okay now other organism derive nutrition from plant or animals without killing them okay uh, killing is not necessary so some organism does not kill the plant or animals and take their nutrition or take their food or take their energy this is parasitic nutritive strategy this is another strategy is parasitic parasitic means depend upon another organism but without killing them this is the parasitic now example are cascata we can say amarbel okay this picture is amarbel ticks lice leeches and tapworms are the example of parasites this organism are called as parasite and the strategy is called as parasitic nutritive strategy okay so keep in mind these things now 6.2.3 how do organisms obtain their nutrition 
what are the ways different different okay we have to see so food and the way it is obtained differ different different ways are present for the obtaining nutrition means उनको न्यूट्रिशन लेने के अलग अलग तरीके कौन से हैं वो द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इज डिफरेंट इन वेरियस ऑर्गेनिजम्स ओके दिस इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम ओके डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज द न्यूट्रिशन इज अल्टीमेटली फॉर्म बाय द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम वी कैन से वी कैन सी इन लेटर डेट आवर ह्यूमन डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम नाउ इन सिंगल सेल ऑर्गेनिजम The food may be taken in by the entire surface. Okay, as we know, single cell organism means unicellular organism. They have only one cell. Okay, they are made up of only one cell. So the one cell is uh, necessary. One cell is useful for every functioning of their body. So the food taken by the entire surface of that cell. Okay, single cell organism means one cell. Now, as the complexity of organism increases. the different part becomes specialized to perform the different function okay uh, as the organism uh, the complexity it means higher complex in higher animals or in higher plants okay so there is specialized functions different functions and different system for the digestion okay so why digestion is required because our ultimate goal is nutrition nutrition from the food so digestion is the uh, way to provide nutrition for every cell of the body for example amoeba amoeba is a unicellular organism now amoeba takes in food using temporary finger like extension of the cell surface which fuse over the food particle forming the food vacuole food vacuole okay we can see figure 6.5 so what will amoeba do uh, amoeba will take the food using their temporary finger like extension we are Uh, okay this is the figure so this is called as pseudopodia okay pseudopodia so these are finger like structure of amoeba okay we can see here this is the nucleus now this is food particle so this food particle will be obtained by this amoeba how the obtain by this the, uh, you can see here different steps first step second third and fourth so finally food is ingested in amoeba you can see okay so cell surface which fuse okay this is the fuse fuse over okay now food particle forming a food vacuole so this is called as food vacuole okay this is called as food vacuole so like that now inside the food vacuole complex substances are broken down into the simpler ones which then diffuse into the cytoplasm okay so as we know cytoplasm is a part of cell every cell has cytoplasm okay so the food vacuole will break down the cell okay like that so food is ingested here remaining undigested material is moved to the surface of the cell okay zaruri nahi hai ki sab food wo gain kare kuch undigested hoga usko remove bhi to karna hoga so it can be removed material is moved to the surface of the cell and thrown out thrown out means to release in paramecium paramecium is uh, another unicellular organism the cell has a definite shape okay particular shape uh, which have paramecium and food is taken in at specific spot this is another example how the food is taken in this organisms okay so food is moved to this spot by the movement of cilia okay particular uh, they have structure of cilia so food food is moved to this spot and movement by the cilia so cilia is useful for their movement so paramecium okay so cilia are present in paramecium which cover the entire surface of the cell like that now the very important question or very important topic and very interesting topic nutrition in human beings how human beings take their nutrition okay so uh, we can uh, see we can discuss the digestive system of our human body we will study about that in this topic so the alimentary canal is basically a long tube extending from the mouth to the anus 
we have we have long tube for our digestive system this is called as alimentary canal okay canal is canal is pipeline we can say pipeline in figure 6.6 we can see that the tube has different parts okay now i am showing you figure 6.6 so this is the figure 6.6 human alimentary canal you can see from mouth to the anus anus is a last point and mouth is a first point so from the mouth and a uh, stomach small intestine large intestine and finally the anus anus is a last point of digestive system so kashmir to kanyakumari for example kashmir is a one end of our india and kanyakumari is the another end of our india okay so this is our india and kashmir to kanyakumari this is our alimentary canal we can say like that so this is for example okay don't use in exams but this is for your understanding now various regions are specialized to perform the different function in this alimentary canal there are various region different different region and they have different different functions what happens to the food once it enters our body okay uh, did you think what happens to the food once enters our body we shall discuss this process here one extra point i have uh, i have uh, written here one extra point digestive system is made up of gastrointestinal tract we can say gi tract our digestive system is made up of gastrointestinal tract gi tract this is alimentary canal and the another name is gi tract this can be also asked and you will not find in book so keep in mind and please note down this thing digestive system is made up of gastrointestinal tract okay so now mouth esophagus stomach small intestine and large intestine and anus finally so these are the main main organs of the digestive systems okay and these are the this for example liver pancreas and gall bladder are the helper organs okay additional additional organs of the digestive system this is our digestive system from mouth to the anus and mouth also called as buccal cavity okay now we eat various types of food which has to pass through the same digestive tract okay same digestive tract for all the food material whether it is vegetarian whether it is non vegetarian the alimentary canal is we have one only one okay god gave us only one alimentary canal for various types of food various type of drinks also now naturally the food has to be processed to generate particle which are small and of the same texture okay uh, this is necessary because uh there are some uh, there are some food which have large surface area which are larger in size but we cannot allow our body will not allow so food has to be processed to generate particle which are small okay our digestive system allow only small particles this is achieved by crushing the food with our teeth okay so what is the role of our teeth teeth is useful for crushing the food material and breaking down into small small particles and this small particle will allow in our digestive system since the lining of the canal is soft okay lining means there are particular cells in this canal this is very soft and the food is also wet wet means like watery to make its passage smooth smoothly this is easily okay so this food is easily passing through the canal by this lining okay and now wait wait means to water for example like liquid material like that when we eat something we like mouth our waters okay when we eat something we like or we see something we like our mouth waters waters means hamare muh mein pani aa jata hai hum agar gulab jamun humko bahut acche lagte hai to hamare muh mein pani aa jata hai so what is this mouth water this is called as mouth waters so this is not actually only the water 
बट अ फ्लूड कॉल्ड एज सलाइवा हमारे मुंह में जो पानी आ जाता है वो पानी नहीं है दिस इज सलाइवा एंड सलाइवा इज सिक्रिटेड बाय द सलाइवरी ग्लैंड्स अनदर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द फूड वी इंजेस्ट इज इट्स कॉम्प्लेक्स नेचर ओके फूड वी इंजेस्ट इज वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स वी कैन से इफ इट इज टू बी एब्सॉर्ब फ्रॉम द एलिमेंट्री कैनल इट हैज टू बी ब्रोकन इन टू स्मॉलर मोलिक्यूल्स एज आई ऑलरेडी सेड कॉम्प्लेक्स नेचर इट मीन्स कभी हम पिज्ज़ा खाते हैं कभी हम बर्गर खाते हैं कभी हम रोटी खाते हैं कभी हम बिस्किट खाते हैं सो दिस आर सम टाइप्स ऑफ फूड्स ओके सो कॉम्प्लेक्स नेचर एंड हैज टू बी ब्रोकन इन टू द स्मॉलर मोलिक्यूल्स दिस इज नेसेसरी दिस इज डन विद द हेल्प ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल कैटालिस्ट कॉल्ड एज एंजाइम्स ओके सो कीप इन माइंड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द स्मॉलर मोलिक्यूल्स मीन्स दिस इज द फंक्शन ऑफ अवर एंजाइम्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल बायोलॉजिकल कैटालिस्ट वी कैन से दिस एंजाइम्स एंड एंजाइम्स आर द प्रोटीन्स ओके सो द कॉम्प्लेक्स फूड मटीरियल इज ब्रोकन डाउन थ्रू द एंजाइम्स बाय द एंजाइम्स ओके द सलाइवा कंटेंट्स एन एंजाइम कॉल्ड एज सलाइवरी एम आई लेस सो दिस इज द नेम ऑफ वन एंजाइम इज एम आई लेस ओके सो वी कैन सी द रोल ऑफ एम आई लेस दिस इज कॉल्ड एज सलाइवरी एम आई लेस बिकॉज एम आई लेस प्रेजेंट इन अवर सलाइवा सलाइवा मीन्स जो हम थूकते हैं हमारे मुँह में जो थूक होता है वो सलाइवा डेट ब्रेक्स डाउन द स्टार्च ओके स्टार्च इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स शुगर ओके कॉम्प्लेक्स शुगर इज स्टार्च एंड विल ब्रेक डाउन बाय द एम आई लेज सो कॉम्प्लेक्स मोलिक्यूल टू गिव सिंपल शुगर सिंपल शुगर इट मीन्स ग्लूकोज स्टार्च इज मेड अप ऑफ ग्लूकोज सो ग्लूकोज इज अ सिंपलेस्ट शुगर एंड इजीली डाइजेस्टेबल स्टार्च इज नॉट इजीली डाइजेस्टेबल सो वी रिक्वायर एम आई लेज नाव फॉर द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ एम आई लेज द स्टार्च इज ब्रोकन डाउन इन टू द सिंपल शुगर नाव द फूड इज मिक्स थ्रू थरोली विथ सलाइवा and moved around the mouth while the chewing by muscular tongue so food is mixed thoroughly with saliva okay jaise hum khana khate hain apne muh mein jaise hum chabate hain so uh, mix ho jata hai thoroughly food ke sath saliva mix ho jata hai kyunki usko digest karna hai digestion is necessary so hamare mouth se hi ye process shuru ho jati hai digestion ki for the use of salivary amylase and chewing by the muscular tongue tongue okay so this is the role of tongue also now this is necessary to move the food in a regulated manner along the digestive tube okay so manner should be regulation okay there is regula uh, regulation of this process in digestive tube so that it can be processed properly okay so we need it 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 is regulated form because properly work for the properly use of this energy the lining of canal has muscles that contract rhythmically it means properly rhythmically means properly so the lining of canal has muscle okay muscle are the types of cells that contract the rhythmically in order to push push the food forward okay contract okay jaise contract hoga it means it will produce pressure it will produce some force so force hoga to kya hoga push पुस द फूड फॉरवर्ड फॉरवर्ड डिरेक्शन में फूड को आगे ले जाना है ओके सो वी हैव टू पुस द अवर फूड फॉर देर अनदर प्रोसेस फॉर फॉरवर्डिंग देम नाउ दिस पेरिस्टेल्टिक मूवमेंट्स अकर ऑल अलोंग द गट ऑल अलोंग द गट मीन्स ऑल अलोंग द एलिमेंट्री कैनाल सो दिस इज पेरिस्टेल्टिक मूवमेंट्स दिस इज कॉल्ड एज पेरिस्टेल्टिक मूवमेंट्स फ्रॉम द माउथ द फूड इज टेकन टू द स्टमक ओके नाव द स्टमक इज अनदर ऑर्गन ऑफ आवर डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन आवर फिगर ऑल्सो थ्रू द फूड पाइप और ऑइसो फिगर्स ओके सो दिस इज इन बिटवीन दिस इज द अनदर प्लेटफॉर्म एसो फिगर्स एंड फूड पाइप वी कैन से फूड पाइप सो फ्रॉम द माउथ टू द स्टमक दिस इज द वे माउथ टू स्टमक एंड the middle station are food pipe and oesophagus so oesophagus is a one pipeline okay for the stomach the stomach is a large organ which expand when food enters into it large it become large stomach become large when we eat food and food enter in stomach okay stomach so food is enter in stomach by the food pipe and 
from the mouth okay so from the mouth to the stomach food pipe is necessary now the muscular walls of the stomach help in mixing the food thoroughly with more digestive juices okay uh, mixing the food thoroughly it means there is muscular walls of stomach because uh, ultimate goal our ultimate goal is to digest the food okay so there are some digestive juices we will discuss it later also so the digestion in stomach is taken care of by gastric glands there are glands also present glands are the additional organs of our particular digestive system so gastric glands means gastric word is used for our stomach okay keep in mind gastric word is useful uh, and used by the for example stomach so whenever we talk about stomach the gastric term will be added now the gastric glands present in the wall of stomach this release the hydrochloric acid hcl okay as we as we know the hcl okay the role of hcl so a protein digesting enzyme called as pepsin and mucus so these are the uh, useful usefulness of this gastric glands they release hydrochloric acid okay as we know hydrochloric acid is useful for digestion and uh, a protein digestic enzyme called as pepsin so pepsin will digest protein okay hum jo food khate hain usme protein jo hota hai usko digest kon karega pepsin and the mucus so what is the role of mucus so mucus uh, fat ko digest karega the hydrochloric acid create an acidic medium this is another role of hydrochloric acid the main role of hydrochloric acid okay this is acid so acidic medium create karega facilitates the action of the enzyme pepsin okay so this is the main role and the pepsin enzyme okay the action which which is the acidic medium is useful for the action of pepsin enzyme particular action because uh, pepsin has to digest our protein so this is necessary okay acidic medium is necessary for the pepsin activity this can be asked what other function do you think is served by the acid you have to think this okay the mucus protects the inner lining of the stomach from the action of the acid okay so this is the role of mucus mucus will protect the inner lining of stomach from the acid okay the acidic medium will harmful for the inner lining but mucus is protection mucus will be protect our inner lining under the normal condition when food is not present there so this is normal condition we also heard about complaining adults are complaining about the acidity you have already learned uh, you have already listen about acidity so what is acidity you have to find out can this be related to what has been discussed above ha hey? so this is the uh, picture of uh, a guy with acidity so uh, you can think acidity is related to this digestive system and this phenomenon of uh, acidic activity of uh, hcl hydrochloric acid or etc so you can think and try to find out the answer now the exit of food from stomach is regulated by a sphincter muscle which release it in the small amount into the small intestine okay now the stomach stomach have done their duty now the exit of food from the stomach is regulated by sphincter muscle sphincter is the type of cell we can say cylindrical cells which release it in small amount into the small intestine from the stomach the food now enters the small intestine we are discussing the journey of food from mouth to the anus now food is reach in reached at the sphincter muscle and now enters into the small intestine this is the longest part of the alimentary canal okay the small intestine is very long longest part of this alimentary canal and the largest organ is stomach so don't get confused with two these two things okay so the small intestine is very long of the alimentary canal now which is fit into the compact space because of extensive coiling so coiling what is coiling guys so the longest uh, 
small intestine is space in this in this type of structure we can see here diagram this is our small intestine okay you can see here zigzag structure this is coiling this is called as coiling okay so this will take very less space okay we have to save space so this is very long large in uh, sorry small intestine and this will use very low space okay no need to more space uh, just like our earphone our earphone are very long okay but coil but hum jaise hum usko coil karenge aise to wo bilkul choti jagah rokega just like that so jagah kam roke uske liye usko coil hona padta hai so just like our earphones the length of small intestine different in various animals depending on the food they eat okay zaruri nahi hai ki jo small intestine hai wo sab mein lamba hi ho okay so this is not necessary that uh, this is uh, very different in different different animals and depending on the food they eat for example herbivorous eating grass for uh, it means herbivorous means vegetarian they eat only grass need a longer small intestine because cellulose is present in this grass so cellulose is very complex structure very complex sugar we can say and higher to digested so they require longer small intestine now meat meat it means meat means the non veg food okay is easier to digest okay this is easy to digest and this is hard to digest grass is hard to digest so hence carnivores carnivores means the non vegetarian animals for example tigers lions have a shorter small intestine this is the difference between two uh, carnivores and herbivores herbivores will eat the grass it mean vegetarian and the cellulose present in grass is hard to digest that's why the small intestine is longer and here in carnivorous animals like tiger and lion there is shorter small intestine because meat is easier to digest and meat is their food like that now the small intestine is the site of the complete digestion of carbohydrate proteins and fats okay the role of small intestine is complete the digestion overall fully digested material okay so small intestine is a site site means is a place for complete digestion carbohydrate means sugar okay hum jo bhi use karte hai jo bhi hum khana khate hai uske andar carbohydrates hote hain proteins are there and fats also are there fats means lipids lipids means oily products oily food hum jo khate hai wo fats hai and protein okay protein to hum jante hi hai jaise doodh hum peete hai to proteins hota hai usme like that so the complete digestion take place in small intestine so small intestine is very important for our digestion it receives the secretion of the liver and pancreas okay as we know liver and pancreas are the additional organ of our digestive system as i have discussed earlier in our diagram figure okay so the food coming from stomach is acidic as we know acidic why acidic because hydrochloric acid is there in stomach so that's why the food coming from the stomach is very acidic and has to be made alkaline alkaline means opposite of acidic it means base basic so food has to be made alkaline for the pancreatic enzyme because pancreatic enzyme only work on alkaline mode alkaline condition so for example bile juice bile juice from the liver liver will secrete bile juice and accomplish this addition to the acting on fats so bile juice is required for the fats lipids okay we can say oily food so bile juice is necessary for lipid digestion now fats are present in the intestine in form of large globules large globules means large particle which makes to difficult for enzyme to act on them okay difficult for enzymes enzymes why enzymes because enzyme make the process easy but the fats are larger and difficult to action of the enzyme now bile salt the use of bile salt break down the them uh, larger globule into the smaller glo smaller globules and increasing the efficiency of enzyme action okay so yahan par jo enzyme kaam karega wo 
जबरदस्त काम करेगा क्योंकि वो अब स्मॉलर ग्लोब्यूल्स हो गए हैं बिकॉज ऑफ बाइल सॉल्ट दिस इज सिमिलर टू द इमल्सिफाइंग एक्शन ऑफ सोप ऑन द डर्ट ओके जैसे हम साबू से नहाते हैं साबू से कुछ धोते हैं हमारे कपड़े वगैरह सो दिस इज द इमल्सिफाइंग कंडीशन दिस इज सिमिलर लाइक डेट बाइल सॉल्ट ओके सो बाइल सॉल्ट ब्रेक डाउन द लार्जर मोलिक्यूल्स इन टू द स्मॉलर मोलिक्यूल्स स्मॉलर ग्लोब्यूल्स वी कैन से द पेनक्रिया सीक्रेट द पेनक्रियाटिक ज्यूस ओके लीवर लीवर वट वट इज द लीवर सीक्रेटेड बाय द बाइल ज्यूस ओके बाइल ज्यूस इज सीक्रेटेड फ्रॉम द लीवर बट द पेनक्रियाज विल सीक्रेट पेनक्रियाटिक ज्यूस ओके विच कंटेन द एंजाइम्स पेनक्रियाटिक ज्यूस हैव एंजाइम्स ट्रिप्सिन ट्रिप्सिन इज अ एंजाइम फॉर द डाइजेस्टिंग ऑफ द प्रोटीन्स प्रोटीन को डाइजेस्ट कौन करेगा ट्रिप्सिन एंड लाइपेज ओके लाइपेज इज अनदर एंजाइम इन द पेनक्रियाटिक ज्यूस एंड लाइपेज इज यूजफुल फॉर ब्रेकिंग डाउन द इमल्सिफाइड फैट्स ओके लार्जर मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ फैट लार्जर मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ लिपिड सो लाइपेज लाइपेज इज द एंजाइम फॉर लिपिड ओके एल आई पी लाइप एंड लिपिड ओके सो लाइपेज एंड लिपिड आर द सिमिलर वर्ड्स सो लाइपेज इज अ एंजाइम फॉर लिपिड ब्रेक डाउन द वॉल्स ऑफ स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन कंटेंट्स द ग्लैंड विच सीक्रेट द इंटेस्टिनल ज्यूस नाउ दिस वॉल स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन वॉल सीक्रेट इंटेस्टिनल ज्यूस The enzyme present it it finally convert the protein to amino acid. Now this is the final process of digestion. Okay, so protein will be converted into amino acid because the protein are made up of amino acids. So amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. We can say okay, जैसे हमारा घर एक ईट से बनता है, जैसे protein amino acid से बनता है. So protein को हम तोड़ेंगे तो amino acid में convert होगा. घर को हम तोड़ेंगे तो हमें छोटे-छोटे ईटों के टुकड़े मिलेंगे like that. So the enzyme present in it, in it means intestinal juice will convert finally proteins to amino acid, complex carbohydrate into glucose. Glucose is a simpler sugar and fat into fatty acid and glycerol. So glycerol is a simpler form of fatty acid and fats. Okay, larger fats. So this is the final stage. of digestive system now digested food is taken up by the walls of intestine the in li inner lining of the small intestine has numerous finger like projection means finger like projections uh, it means figure uh, sorry projections means structures are there finger like structure are there in small intestine this is called as villi okay we can say villi also which increase the surface area of absorption Air absorption means food has to be absorbed for their energy requirement now the villi are the richly supplied with blood vessels okay so blood vessels are present in villi because this uh, now our our last stage of digestion is here so finally our ultimate goal is to energy for blood our blood okay blood our because the our body cells our every cell of body require energy okay so blood will be the useful because ब्लड ब्लड ही है जो हर एक हमारे सेल को वो एनर्जी पहुंचाएगा। ओके सो ब्लड इज नेसेसरी नाउ द विली आर रिचली सप्लाइड विथ द ब्लड वेसल्स एंड दे टेक द एब्जॉर्ब फूड टू ईच एंड एवरी सेल ऑफ द बॉडी आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अर्लियर वेर इट इज यूटिलाइज फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग एनर्जी ओके अब एवरी सेल हैव दिस एनर्जी फ्रॉम द विली Now building up the new tissues and the repair of old tissue. This is the another function. Okay, obtaining energy, building up new tissue and repairing of old tissue. This is the our nutritional requirements. Okay, so our ultimate goal is achieved here. Okay. Now the unabsorbed food. जरूरी नहीं है कि हमने जो food लिया है वो सब हमारे काम आएगा. There is also unabsorbed food. So unabsorbed food is sent to the large intestine. Now the another part of our digestive system is large intestine, where its wall absorbs the more water from this material. अब जो भी कुछ बचा कुचा रहा है, वो large intestine ले लेगा. The rest of the material is removed from the body via the anus. अब जो अभी सब कुछ कचरा ही है अब जो भी हमारे काम का था वो सब हमने ले लिया अब जो बचा कुचा कचरा है सो रिमूव्ड फ्रॉम द बॉडी बाय द एनस एनस इज अ लार्ज सॉरी लास्ट स्टेज ऑफ दिस अवर डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम लास्ट स्टेशन द एग्जिट ऑफ दिस वेस्ट मटेरियल इज रेगुलेटेड बाय द एनल स्पिंक्टर स्पिंक्टर मीन्स टाइप ऑफ सेल्स 
सो एनल स्पिंक्टर प्रेजेंट इन एन एस एन एस एरिया ओके सो अवर अल्टीमेट गोल इज टू ऑप्टेन एनर्जी एंड द वेस्ट मटीरियल टू बी रिमूव आउट सो द एग्जिट ऑफ दिस वेस्ट मटीरियल इज रेग्युलेटेड बाय द एनल स्पिंक्टर सो दिस इज अवर डाइजेशन इज डन अवर डाइजेशन इज ओवर ओके फ्रॉम अवर जर्नी ऑफ अवर डाइजेशन इज फ्रॉम माउथ टू द एन एस नाउ फाइनली द एन एस हैव रिमूव दिस फूड पार्टिकल्स अननेसेसरी फूड पार्टिकल्स ओके वी कैन से वी देट आर नॉट यूजफुल फॉर अवर बॉडी एंड वी कैन से वेस्ट मटीरियल सो हियर अवर डाइजेशन इज कम्प्लीटेड अवर न्यूट्रिशन इज कम्प्लीटेड एंड इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अवर अनदर लाइफ प्रोसेस सो प्लीज गाइज नोट डाउन दिस पॉइंट्स एंड प्लीज स्टार्ट द रीडिंग ओके थैंक यू गाइज वी विल सी यू इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो